What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray. Back with another Gamecock News update. Today, we're doing East Carolina game preview. Tonight, I usually put out my high school game that I go to and talk about that, but uh, the Hillcrest game and Dorman game was uh, canceled due to COVID-19 protocol, so I did not go to the game. So tonight, I'm doing the predictions as well. Before I go any further, man, here's what I need you to do. I need you to, one, like the video. It is free. All you have to do is just like the video. Like, 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 like. Two, subscribe to the channel because most of you guys are not subscribed. Subscribe to the channel. Also, hit notification bell. Notification bell, I know every time I drop a video. And three, share the video. It will help out a ton. So, Eastern Carolina, we play them boys tomorrow. Uh, we're going to Greenville, not South Carolina. North Carolina, which is in the boonies, is in the mountains, is in the upper part of North Carolina. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment section below. This right here is going to be an interesting game because the level of competition is going to be a little bit better than Eastern Illinois, but still, yet yeah, it's not going to be on SEC level. Uh, going our days of Skip Holtz, uh, Lou Holtz's son, um, and really, I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to read. An article, and I'm giving my opinion on this uh, man. So this comes from Athlon Sports, and here's what it says: It says, Week one of the college football season brought different results for both South Carolina and East Carolina. And Shane Beamer's debut as the Gamecocks head coach, South Carolina 1-0, blanked FCS Eastern Illinois 46-0. Illinois. The game caught block two punts and registered a defensive score in this easy victory. ECU 1-1 got off to an early 6-0 start against Appalachian State at Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. However, the Pirates only scored 13 points in the rest of the way as Appalachian State won 33-19. Sunday will be the 20th all-time meeting between the Gamecocks and the Pirates. And South Carolina holds... A 14-5 edge. The game caught also won most recent meetings, beating the Pirates 20 to 15 in 2016. So the kickoff is Saturday, September 11 at 12 p.m. on ESPN2. In the season opener, the Gamecocks relied on the running attack to blow out East Illinois. South Carolina piled up 245 yards on 5.1 per carry. Zaquan Dre White. Had 12 carries for 133 and a touchdown. He also recorded four catches, including a 10-yard touchdown before halftime. Kevin Harris, who was the second in the SEC with 1,138 rushing yards last season, set out the win over the Panthers, but is spent to make his season debut against Eastern Carolina. Graduate assistant turned starting quarterback Zeb Nolan put up 121 Passing yards with four touchdowns. Nolan, who started a career at Iowa State before transferred to FCS Powerhouse North Dakota State in 2019, joined in South Carolina in May as a graduate assistant for the office. The success of the Pirates on Saturday will likely be determined via the arm of quarterback Holtz. I'm not going to say his last name. Last season, Holton, I probably butchered his name, passed for 240. Point one yards per game and a loss against Appalachian State. He's through for 295 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. ECU will need to get the running game against going against South Carolina after managing just 86 rushing yards against Appalachian State. Kenton Mitchell was responsible for 50 of those yards while adding another 80 yards and a touchdown on six catches. So, the prediction. They have us losing 31-28. to 28. So, here is where I'm going to break it down right here. Sorry for the reading, guys. Don't like to do a whole bunch of reading, but sometimes you got to get to the point. Here's what I think that's going to happen. I don't think we lose in 31 to 28. I think this is a win uh, for South Carolina. They're not accounting for our offensive, our offensive line, which is going to be better, our running game. Also, watch out for the defensive Line, which is going to set the tone, and we're probably going to cause a few more turnovers as well. Uh, if he passed for 295 yards against Appalachian State, Appalachian State is not a bad team at all. They're pretty good in the Sun Belt. But I do think that the pressure that we get from not only our defensive line but our linebackers, um, the the play of the secondary should continue to uh, be better. I think it's going to be real hard for them to get the ball off with that pressure. I think on offense for the South Carolina – I think that you're going to look for the running back stable early. You're going to look for 
Also, uh, the tight ends. You're going to look forward to carry on Jordan getting in. Um, and Zeb Nolan. I think Zeb is starting. I don't know if Luke is starting this game or not. But whoever starts the game, look for them to – I'm going to think Zeb is going to start. Look for them to continue to get the ball, manage the ball, uh, pick his spots, take what the defense give them. But, man, that running game, Z White – you got Marshawn, Marshawn Lord. You got Kevin Harris. That's going to be too much for the ECU to handle. I think we go. I think we win by two touchdowns. You called it here first. Lucky Murray said it. we're going to win by two touchdowns. So uh, please don't take that to the bank because I'm not a betting man. But here's what I need you to do, people. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Do you think we're going to win this game? Or do, are you with Avalon Sports that we're going to lose by three? Uh, that's a field goal. But let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Again, it's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator. And please don't forget all three. Lucky Murray back with another Game Cut News update tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes, we will do the review. Let y'all know what to think about the comment section below. But like always, it's the next time, people.